an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. The warnings have been sent. The protocols have been activated. Tonight, interstellar comet 3I Atlas, an object that has baffled and disturbed astronomers since it first appeared, will pass Mars. And nobody is sure what to expect. We hope uh, to get the data from it's uh, the high-rise camera on the Mars mm -hmm. reconnaissance orbiter when 3 i Atlas was uh, closest to the to Mars at the distance of 30 million uh, kilometers. It's strange activity from an emerald glow that defies explanation to rhythmic flares that mimic a heartbeat has turned this from a scientific observation into a tense vigil. As the object enters the blind spot created by the sun. NASA is relying on a handful of Martian probes to record the truth. And the truth might be stranger than any of us imagined. Not your average comet. First, there's the color. Most comets glow a faint bluish green because the sun's radiation breaks down a molecule called dicarbon. It's predictable. It's understood. But 3I Atlas glows a vibrant, almost electric emerald green. Spectrometers have struggled to match this signature with any known cometary chemistry. It's a color that simply shouldn't be there. What many overlooked at first were the faint secondary spectral lines hinting at the presence of ionized metals not typically seen in such abundance. Elements that usually require much higher temperatures to vaporize. It's like finding a tropical flower blooming in Antarctica. Then came the pulses. Comets get brighter as they get closer to the sun. The ice on their surface turns to gas, releasing dust and forming a glowing cloud called a coma. This process is usually messy and chaotic, but 3I Atlas is different. It breathes. For months, observatories have recorded the object flaring in brightness in a surprisingly regular pattern, roughly every 11.3 hours. The pulses are too sharp, too consistent to be random geological vents. With each pulse, Sensitive instruments detected a tiny, almost imperceptible change in its trajectory, a micro-acceleration. The most shocking fact is, these accelerations couldn't be fully explained by the force of the outgassing alone. It was as if something was giving it a gentle, rhythmic push. And you can see this pattern everywhere in the data. Its path through our solar system is another massive red flag. Most interstellar objects, like the famous Oumuamua, come in at steep, random angles. 3I Atlas, however, is traveling on a trajectory that's remarkably close to the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where all the planets orbit. It's taking the scenic route, flying past Jupiter, Mars, and Earth's orbit in a way that seems, for lack of a better word, deliberate. The odds of an interstellar object arriving with such a convenient, tour-like trajectory are staggeringly low. Taken together, the color the pulses and the path created a picture so unusual that multiple astronomy teams independently flagged it for NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, not as a threat, but as an anomaly requiring immediate and serious attention. This wasn't a warning about an impact. It was a warning that we might be looking at something that challenges the fundamental definition of a comet. Its composition is another puzzle piece. While it is releasing carbon dioxide, just like many comets, the ratio of CO2 to water ice is off the charts. It's a dry comet, suggesting it formed in an extremely cold, water-poor environment. But the most stunning discovery was made by the James Webb Space Telescope during a brief observation window. It detected complex hydrocarbons in the coma, long-chain molecules that are the building blocks of life. While not life itself, finding such complex organic material in an interstellar visitor is a massive deal. The thing is, these molecules were being released in bursts that perfectly matched the 11-hour brightening cycle, suggesting they weren't just passively baking off the surface. It was another piece of the puzzle that just didn't fit. This is the object now approaching Mars. It's a green, pulsing, organically rich anomaly on a suspiciously convenient flight path. But what happens when our only eyes are robots millions of miles away? A planet-sized laboratory as 3I Atlas closes the final few million miles to Mars, a cosmic coincidence is about to make things incredibly tense. Earth, Mars, and the Sun are entering a configuration known as a solar conjunction. 
For the next several days, the Sun will be positioned directly between Earth and Mars, completely blocking all direct communication. It's a planetary-scale blind spot. Radio signals will be drowned out by the Sun's overwhelming noise, meaning we can't get real-time data from our Martian assets. We can't see what's happening. We can only wait. This turns the Mars flyby from a live-streamed astronomical event into a nerve-wracking black box experiment. The only witnesses will be the probes already there. NASA's flotilla of Martian orbiters, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, MAVEN, and the European Space Agency's Trace Gas Orbiter, TGO, have been transformed into an emergency observation network. You see, their primary missions are to study Mars, not passing comets, but their sophisticated instruments are now our only hope. MAVEN, designed to study the Martian upper atmosphere, will be looking for any changes in the solar wind and charged particles as the comet's coma interacts with the planet's thin air. The TGO will use its sensitive spectrometers to sniff for any unusual gases deposited into the atmosphere by the comet's tail. The MRO's high-resolution camera, HiRISE, will attempt to capture images of the comet's nucleus, hoping to resolve its shape and any surface features. The thing nobody tells you is how difficult this is. These orbiters are trying to hit a moving target from a moving platform with instruments designed for something else entirely. It's like trying to take a perfect photo of a speeding bullet from the window of a moving train. The observation sequences were uploaded weeks ago. Now mission controllers can only cross their fingers and hope the automated systems work. They are looking for three key things. First, fragmentation. If the nucleus breaks apart under tidal stress or solar heating, the pattern of the debris could reveal its internal structure. A clean break might suggest a solid, rocky body, while a chaotic disintegration could point to a loosely packed pile of ice and dust. Second, they'll be watching for abrupt trajectory changes. The rhythmic micro-accelerations were already strange. Any larger, sudden deviation from its predicted path during the flyby would be explosive news. It could mean a massive chunk of the object broke off, or it could feed into the more radical theories about controlled propulsion. Third, and perhaps most importantly, they'll be looking for anomalous emissions. If the orbiters detect any radio signals, concentrated energy beams, or spectral lines of artificial processed elements in the comet's wake, the conversation will shift overnight from astronomy to something else entirely. Mars itself has become a giant passive detector. What many overlooked is that even a thin atmosphere can create a spectacular show. If dust or gas from 3 I Atlas enters Mars's atmosphere, it could create a meteor shower or even auroras, phenomena MAVEN is perfectly equipped to see. This is the setup for one of the most suspenseful moments in modern space exploration. An anomalous object, a communications blackout, and a handful of robotic probes standing guard. The data is being recorded, but what story will it eventually tell? Scenarios on the table. As we wait for the data to trickle back from Mars, scientists are wrestling with a handful of scenarios, each with vastly different implications. The thing is, when you're faced with a true unknown, you have to consider every possibility, from the boring to the world changing. The fate of 3i Atlas and our understanding of it will likely fall into one of three major categories. The first and most probable scenario is what we could call the weird comet. In this future, 3i Atlas is simply a natural object from a bizarre corner of the galaxy. Its emerald glow could be caused by an unusual combination of elements in its core, ionized in a way we've never seen before. The rhythmic pulses might be the result of a strange rotation, where a single massive geyser is exposed to the sun every 11.3 hours, creating a predictable flare. Its convenient trajectory? A one in a billion lucky shot. The most shocking fact is that even this boring outcome would be a scientific goldmine. It would rewrite textbooks on cometary formation and prove that the galaxy is filled with objects far more diverse than we ever imagined. It would be a huge discovery, but a comfortably natural one. The second scenario is more dramatic. The catastrophic failure. In this version of events, 3i Atlas is a fragile object that couldn't handle the heat. As it passed Mars and swung closer to the Sun, the thermal and gravitational stress was too much. The nucleus could have shattered, breaking into dozens or even hundreds of pieces. If this happened, 
the Martian orbiters would have seen not a single object, but a shotgun blast of debris. This would be both spectacular and dangerous. A newly formed debris field in the inner solar system could pose a future risk to satellites and missions, including those at Mars. Analyzing the fresh surfaces of these fragments, however, would give scientists an unprecedented look at the primordial material from another star system. It would be a messy, destructive, but incredibly informative outcome. And then there's the third scenario, the one no one likes to say out loud in a professional setting. Let's call it the deliberate object. In this future, the reason 3i Atlas seems artificial is because it is. The rhythmic pulses aren't geysers, they're engine burns for course correction. The flight path isn't a coincidence. It's a planned trajectory for reconnaissance of our solar system. The emerald glow isn't strange chemistry. It's a byproduct of an unknown energy source or shielding technology. And you can see this possibility threaded through every anomaly. If this were the case, what would the Martian orbiters see? Perhaps a release of a smaller probe, maybe a focused transmission of data, or perhaps nothing at all. A perfectly executed flyby might leave very little trace. This is the scenario that lives in the realm of science fiction, but the data has forced it onto the table, even if it's at the very bottom of the list. Each of these three futures, the weird comet, the failed visitor, or the deliberate explorer, is still possible. We are living in the moment of uncertainty, suspended between a fascinating new chapter in geology and a complete paradigm shift in human history. The answer is waiting in the data, but are we ready for it? Interpreting the Martian data. The flyby is over. The silence from Mars continues. For the next few days, as the solar conjunction peaks, there will be no new information. And this silence is creating a vacuum that is being filled with speculation, anxiety, and anticipation. When the first packets of data finally break through the solar interference and arrive at the deep space network, teams of scientists will work around the clock to piece together what happened. The thing is, the data won't be a simple yes or no. It will be millions of data points, spectrographs, magnetic field readings, particle counts, and a handful of heavily compressed images that will need to be carefully calibrated and cross-referenced. What many overlooked in the lead-up is that the first signs of what happened might not be spectacular. A slight, unexpected spike in argon in the Martian atmosphere could indicate atmospheric entry of cometary material. A momentary fluctuation in the magnetic field around Mars could signal the passage of a highly ionized object. The answer won't be in a single, dramatic photo, but hidden in the subtle language of numbers. If 3i Atlas behaved like a normal, albeit weird, comet, the data will show a predictable tail, a coma of dust and gas, and a trajectory altered only by the sun's gravity. The scientific community would breathe a collective sigh of relief, and the hard work of understanding its strange chemistry would begin. But if the object fragmented, the orbiter's data would be chaotic. They would see multiple brightness sources and a cloud of debris that could have triggered their impact alert sensors. We might get images of a ghostly trail of fragments where a single nucleus used to be. The most shocking fact about this scenario is the long-term consequence, the potential contamination of Mars. If the fragments carried those complex organic molecules and rained down on the Martian surface, they could forever compromise our search for native Martian life. Future rovers would have to distinguish between alien biomolecules from Mars and alien biomolecules from another star system a nightmare for astrobiologists. And if the data supports the third scenario, the deliberate object, the response will be unlike anything in scientific history. What if the MRO's images show not a tumbling rock, but an object with defined, non-natural angles? What if the TGO's sensors picked up a narrow-band radio signal? The established protocol for such a discovery is quiet verification. The data would be checked, double-checked and reviewed by independent teams before any announcement is made. The data is coming. Whatever it shows, our view of the universe will be a little bigger and a little stranger. Hit like and subscribe for updates. Was this a natural event or are we not alone?